Hi, Middle School. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Mr. Pisa here, uh, Monday morning meeting edition uh, for our last week in January of 2021. Uh, it still blows me away how quickly this year is going by. Uh, we want to start off by just celebrating our first week back. It felt so, so, so amazing to have you guys in the building and see students and be teachers in the same room. Uh, it's so cool. We recognize some of you aren't ready to do that yet. and we completely understand and so by no means is that any form of uh, intended pressure. You guys are doing a great job of social distancing, you're wearing your masks, everyone is doing a really good job that is here and I know that everyone is working hard whether you're here or at home. So just really want to celebrate the entire middle school uh, but really moving forward feels so great. Uh, one little you know minor reflection, uh, we saw a couple cell phones come out this week so we would love to just remind everybody, take a moment to say like, cell phones during the day is not something that we do. So in the morning before school starts, no problem. After school's out, of course you got them. Throughout the day, we know they're tucked away in pockets, backpacks, or whatever, that's cool, we get it. Um, but during the day, phones do not come out. If you need to make a phone call, if you got like something that comes up, mom or dad's blowing up your phone with text messages, trying to figure out, pick up at the end of the day or something, you can approach a teacher and say, hey, I think you know my parents are trying to get a hold of me. I just did that for someone this week. They politely asked me and I said, sure, you know, like, go remind Mr. Brown. So if he sees you, this is what's going on. Um, so cell phones, let's just take care of that business and keep having a good time with everything else that we're doing. I want to take another moment separately from that to just celebrate. We've got a group of students in the building right now taking something called the access test. And some of you maybe have heard about that over the years. Um, so it's a test that our multilingual education students, our bilingual students, are taking to kind of demonstrate where they're at in their trajectory uh, to learning English as a language and demonstrating uh, their performance there. And so it's, it's kind of a pain, it's hard, right? It's a standardized test, just like when other people take CMAS or something like that, or iStation, or reading inventory. It's not fun, um, but they're getting in there and they're working hard, and so I just want to take a chance to uh, celebrate them and all the hard work that they're putting in for that. Um, and then our last uh, big topic of the day today, and it's a really big one, it's really important, it's near and dear to our hearts. Uh, we have uh, an important month coming up, and we know um, Black History Month isn't, uh, you know, like it's an important month, we, we like to think that we celebrate throughout the whole year, people of all uh, backgrounds and diversity, um, but we were approached with a really cool idea. Uh, the Northfield campus said, hey guys, this is something that we're doing, we'd like to invite you guys in on doing it as well. We stopped and listened and we, we got pretty excited. It seems like a really amazing opportunity. So we know that uh, traditionally Black History Month, you guys get to learn about super important people like uh, community organizers like MLK Jr. or uh, authors like Langston Hughes and Maya Angelou and, um, and, and lots of other just amazing people that help contribute to the tapestry of like American history. And, and that's really important. So not to take away from that. But we also recognize that those people are kind of like in history. They're kind of on a piece of paper or like in a video or something. It's really hard to connect with their success and the things that they're doing in life. And so Northfield said, hey, what have we found um, just people in our community? What have we found uh, successful um, people that have actually gone through the same kind of life? They, they look like you. Um, and, and here they're at at a place that's like really cool and worth taking note of how they got there. So we're finding uh, community members from all over the place, you know, do do doctors, lawyers, uh, we got a superintendent from another school district that's like signed up and they're gonna make themselves available for interviews. And we're gonna ask that every middle school student sign up and this is after school and we're gonna try to find a way to make it fun for you guys to do it, but you sign up for one interview at least and you go and you have questions prepared and ready to ask and there'll be lots of kids from either DGS uh, Southeast or Northfield and get a chance to ask all the questions we want of this kind of successful person and then we'll have a template and that template will be a Google Slides template that you can take your answers and the answers of other people, right? You don't only, you only have to ask a question or so when you're there and put it all into the template and it'll make a cool presentation. Uh, you never have to present your presentation. You never have to be video recorded. You never have to even come off screen necessarily at the interview. You can just probably get away with typing your question in the chat. Um, and then we're gonna take all of those and we're gonna put them on a cool uh, joint DGS campus uh, Black History Month uh, website so that all the people that everyone learned about will be there and we can see all the cool stuff that people learned all in one place. Um, and then after we're going to try to do a joint Northfield and Southeast Zoom Friday celebration which is kind of like blowing my mind. I, I haven't really stopped to think about like how 
through over 300 like middle schoolers are going to end up in one spot. Um, but we're going to give it a shot and see what we can do with it. So I, I am, I'm excited. I know your teachers are super excited. I hope you guys get pumped up. The timeline will be, I'm kind of announcing it right now to you guys. Um, we have examples that your teachers will let you see. Uh, Mr. Uh, Rico that you've been seeing in the background is an example of what one of these like templates uh, of an interview can look like. And they actually interviewed Mr. Rico and most of you already know him and know a lot about him. Um, but it'll let you see what it can look like. And you'll get a chance to see that in your class. You know, teachers will use morning meeting a few days to help you prep. And then um, we'll get a chance to celebrate all the hard work once it's all put together. So we're looking for the interviews to take place first week of February. It'll be in the evening time. We'll be sharing those schedules with you guys. And you guys will be able to volunteer to just schedule yourself wherever you want to. Power of Zoom, it's pretty awesome. You guys could be at nighttime and just at 5.30, pop into an interview, check it out. You like it, hang out, listen to everything it has to say. So that's the kind of thing we're gonna be doing or encouraging you guys to be a part of. Um, I'm sure there'll be more questions. Uh, we got plenty of time to sort it out. So if you find me along the way or Mr. Brown, um, he's been instrumental in organizing a lot of this hard work as well. So um, aside from that, we hope you guys have a wonderful week. We appreciate everything you guys are doing day in, day out. So keep it up. Number one middle school, Denver Public Schools, that's you guys. So um, let's get after it again this week and we'll see what, oh, Friday celebration, almost forgot. So this week, uh, meaning last Friday, we did the math relay and I liked the format so much that I'm gonna do a language arts relay. So I'm gonna work on that with uh, a couple of the language arts teachers to see what kinds of questions end up in there and uh, we'll do it again. Um, so let's see who gets to be student of the week this week. Uh, maybe we got a Freaky Friday person hiding out there in uh, Zoom land or something that wants to show up and uh, otherwise have a great week and we'll see you guys uh, throughout the, the day.